Hi everybody, I am Super Duck Boy and welcome back to my channel. And you can see right now we're not in the Sims 4. Especially we're not even in Minecraft even though this video is going to be about Minecraft. We're in Illustrator and we're making a Minecraft drizzle spec. Yeah, you heard me right. I'm going to do this lengthy task. And it is lengthy and we're going to talk about it. But right now, as you can see, I'm doing a recent spec in Illustrator for Minecraft. And this video is going to be mainly around the, the dirt part of Minecraft. And I'm sorry, I forgot to hit record. Yes, I know. How do you do that? But I forgot. So I don't have any records of the making the dirt texture, but it's really simple textures. Nothing for it. So we're going to start off with the, the texture of the grass, especially the side of it. And I'm going to talk you through some of the things I did over here. As you can see, I used this octagonal shape. I believe it's octagonal. I think it's have eight sides. So it's, a, I don't know, actually. Let's go, let's stick with octagonal. So I'm just placing them around with different opacities, different sizes and different color to give it a bit of a textures like pixels but it's more random and more it's more free than pixels because as you can see this they're not pixels and they're not in orderly fashion also this texture is going to be 64 by 64 because i it's easier to work with and it does look better on your game and most of the modern computer i believe can run it pretty smoothly like Today most of the computer can do it and if your computer cannot do it I'm really sorry but I might in the future if this texture pack I'm going to actually finish it and I believe I will I'm going to make a 16 version of it and right now as you can see we're adding all of the different oct octagonal shapes as I said and the way that I cut it out I just copy and replace the grass shape and then I choose everything and I make sure, made sure that the grass shape is on the front layer and I just press control 7 or I did a clipping mask if some of you working with Illustrator know it it's, and just contain all the shapes inside the bigger shape that I told him to do so um, not to do so, <laughs> derp me I like the bigger shape that I like I determined for him so right now we're fi actually about to finish it and another trick that i did is where you see the shapes that go from side to side is actually the same shapes and in order to make sure that it's in the correct position so it will repeat itself i just chose this shape and copy it i did ctrl c and did ctrl f and if you don't know ctrl f in illustrator just copy stuff in front on the same place as the original where, did you, where you did the first copy and then using the X and Y coordinates on top I think it's the top right over here on the screen maybe on your screen it might be on the top left I'm not sure about it so I just typed in plus 64 if I wanted to move to the left and minus 64 if I wanted to move to the right and again it's just so pixels Illustrator know how to work with it. If you write it down plus and then the number you want, it will calculate how many pixels you added and then will add it to the new position of the item or vector you want to move and will just move it there. You don't need to do anything else than this. And it does work exactly as you think. Super method, method sorry, super accurate and just works. It's a magic trick if you ask me. And over here, I'm doing the top of the grass, and I, as you can see, all I did was copy all the block, all the shapes that overlap from the side of the grass, and then rotated it around the center of the artboard. But this is a problem right now. I didn't saw the problem, but the problem is that because it's supposed also to connect to itself, it won't do it right now because the shapes themselves need to be also mirrored in order to be in the correct position to copy themselves if you understand me don't worry if you don't there will be the easy fix that i did in the con like on the 
continuous of this video just wait for it and i will talk you about what i did and right now we're just doing the path and the path side and we're going to do also the grass which was really easy all of them i just did you know i, I copied the shapes and then i did uh i gave the layer the color that i re quite wanted for it and using the blend options and the opacity tools i ch and just the blend options of color and it's a really easy way to change everything color we don't working too hard on it because illustrator again does it all, all all for you you don't need to work that hard there is an easy way to do everything and right now as you can see i'm doing it to the snow and i gave it again the the over here i think i did the u blend which just changes changes the u of everything and added some white on top of it and right now we're doing the puzzle and nice fact about puzzle i did not think puzzle will look puzzle is it puzzle is it called puzzle I, how do you say it how do you pronounce it i think it's puzzle am i right i don't know anyway so i really like it i think a lot of people usually miss it and I cannot understand it. It's really hard to find it, and you need a silk touch, I think pickaxe, to, in order to pick it up. And it's a lot of work. But the colors of it, even though they're like brownish and sluggish and everything, they're really nice. Like they give really nice atmosphere to the game. I really like it. Like I really want to make a build with it right now. It's like I, I like. I think it's going to be little discoveries along the way because. When you're actually doing the retrospect, suddenly you f realize all the like the little things that you missed about it and all the magical things. Like I found that there's so many textures in Minecraft. You might think there's not, but there's a lot of textures, more than you can think. And it's quite overwhelming, but this is why I also choose to do the dirt first. Because when you change something so trivial that is all over the place when you're playing Minecraft, which is the dirt, and you think to yourself, well, dirt is not so special, but it's everywhere. You cannot miss it. And grass is everywhere. And it's just so minor change, but it's really look the, it really changes the look of the entire game. And you will see it. I will doing, like, I will fly by and a new world in order for I, I also wanted to check how everything looks but I also recorded for you to see it in the Minecraft game itself because right here it's looking really nice because Illustrator makes everything look nice while you're working on it but the real test in it's the real world or or like over here it's in the Minecraft world so yeah stay tuned for this in the end also and right now we're just doing again the top layer of the puzzle and it's really easy you're gonna see I'm going to fly by it and again doing like this really pixelated i try to like give it a cartoonish vibes and yet pixelated to keep with the vibes of minecraft and i really like the end result i really think it's giving it like a unique look to it and something nice and poppy and not too harsh i will i can see how i'm going to play hours with this game and this texture pack is just not going to bother me too much i know that some people who really really hard on vanilla and they don't want to change anything or they're really going with like the hd pack for the vanilla texture and i can understand it that actually the original texture is not that bad if you think about it you can watch them for hours when you're playing the game and it really does not matter to you and right now we're moving to one of the weirdest block and it's my cilium as you can see over here and it's a really weird block like if you're going to think about it, it's like sluggish and purple ooze that gonna cover everything up and you're like well i wonder if there's something like if there's a real world equivalent to mycelium mm, you know what let me check it you know what i'm really interested in it let's go check it out mycelium hmm what do you think guys do you think we're gonna find Oh, there is, there's actually something called Mycelium. There's a website with called Mycelium. If you ever want to check it is out, you can. Let's see what it brings us. It's not Minecraft related, by the way. 
it's like a high-tech company or something like that. I don't know. But there's pictures of it and it does look like a kind of a fun guy that spreads across stuff and quite scary and not purple and white and again it's quite scary. But it's quite cool. Oh there's actually a picture of it. It just has like a slight purpley tint to it. That's nice. It's really nice. I didn't thought that the Minecraft creator actually based it on something from the real world, but apparently they did. That's nice to know. I think it is it's a nice extra something to the game. Oh, and while I check it out, as you can see, we're already on the top of the block of the mycelium. How fun! Yes, guys. And look there. And again, we are just. Oh, now it's the favorite one. And it is the farmland. And I really love this one. And again, we're using the guidelines over here just to make sure that the start and end position of each trench is the exact size. So when the texture repeats itself, you won't actually see breakage. And you might think to yourself, I'm using right now vectors and they're especially, especially, sorry, especially like made, I don't know how do you say it? They're like crafted to be extra fine and extra on point but and you might think to yourself when because i'm not using a pixel based like a pixel based uh, hmm, design program i think so it might be change and not good when i'm changing it to a png file in order to open it in the game but actually it does not matter because i'm using the 64 by 64 textures the conversion does not really ruin everything and does still look very flowy and ma and everything matches up so don't worry about it if you really if you want to do another texture pack for your own and you're afraid that you won't match if you use a vector based program and don't worry about it it will work and working with a we're working with this kind of programs it's so much easier and right now we're doing again the color and blend options to just change it to look like a wet textures and it does look like wet and I liked it so much and right now we're going to, I'm going to show you the easy fix all I did chose the where it's overlaps and then I told it to be reflected using the center of the artboard and as you can see right now I'm just placing some guidelines to know exactly where the center is and by the way if you press ctrl y you will see this view also which is a preview view I th uh, outlines view sorry and you can see I'm just using the reflect tool, reflecting it, and then using the rotate tool to rotate it along 90 degrees in all of the sh on all of the sizes, and that's it, done, fix it. And right now we're going to open the game, and as you can see I've opened it on survival. <laughs> How did I miss it? And for some reason it won't let me change to game mode zero, which I believe is creative. So. I just said to hell with it and opened the new one as you're going to see right now and I was quite pissed so I just wrote test the real one. Yep, sometimes Minecraft can be a little bit annoying but not worries this time I'm on creative and as, as you can see digress again it's immediate change to the game. I think it's a little bit of a grid like but it's an easy way to fix it and i might do it in the future right now i'm quite happy with the result and also the dirt just looks so good i love the color of it i love it it just look good and right now i'm just choosing all the blocks that i've changed and i also use the shovels and the hoe and over here i put the snow to see the snow side of the grass and the mycelium that just mycelium that just looks so good and the puzzle which i'm in love with i want to build like a magic forest with it like i'm so pretty i mean look at it so magical <laughs> i want to touch it and right now we're adding the farmland which again are oh, and a wet one and i think i'm going to leave you with the end of this video thank you thank you all guys for watching and if you like it please leave a like and subscribe and don't forget to leave a comment about what do you want to see more with this series i really like the i really think it's going to be a nice series and thanks and again thanks you all for watching have a really nice day and i see you all later bye